Former Kiwi Build boss Stephen Barclay says the complaints against him which led to an employment dispute were shocking and came completely out of the blue. Yesterday, Ministry of Housing and Urban Development Chief Executive Andrew Crisp revealed that Stephen Barclay resigned amid an employment investigation that revealed complaints from employees, contractors and stakeholders regarding his leadership behavior. The reason for Barclay's resignation on January 18 had previously been unknown, aside from that it was an employment dispute. Stephen Barclay told Newstalk ZB's Mike Hosking the complaints arose straight after Kiwi Build's move from B to the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Barclay said two weeks after the move he was told there were complaints about his style and how he interacted with some of my employees. The investigation was led by Crisp. Every complainant, that includes one person from another ministry, were all known to Andrew Crisp, Barclay said. When asked whether there was any validity to the complaints, Barclay said, I didn't think so. Within a week of receiving the allegations or the complaints, I wrote a very comprehensive, point-by-point -point rebuttal of those things, provided evidence for the lot, frankly I thought it would be over. He said the complaints came completely out of the blue. There was no communication with me about them. There was no discussion with me, it just came absolutely out of the blue. Barclay said he is suspicious about the way the complaints arose. What I was so surprised about was that things had been going so well when we were a standalone business on the side of Mbi, and then as I say, within two weeks of going into this new ministry, all these complaints arose. My suspicion is that Andrew Crisp wanted the Kiwi Build unit to be part of his ministry. Which was not how we were organized when we were with Mbi, we were a standalone business.